And we welcome you back to the beautiful campus of Oklahoma State University. Larry Reese, along with the voice of the Cowboys, Dave Hunziker. And we were talking, trying to figure yeah. out, what is this, uh, season 13 or I so? guess it's 13. Dave Hunziker, pistols firing. We want to hear that a lot this year. But, uh, Dave, you've been here for a long time now, and expectations have never been higher than they are going into this season. Well, it tells you how much respect the program has gained when you're picked to win the Big 12 Conference and you don't have a quarterback that has more than five career starts, right. that means you're doing something really right because it tells you that people have great faith in your coaching staff and the players that you have returning. A lot different than it was uh, 13 years ago uh, when Les Miles was in his first year, we came here at the same time, and he was trying to create that winning mood. I asked him, I'll never forget this, we sat in Mexico Joe's for dinner, and uh, I asked him, I said, what's the biggest challenge you face here? I'll never forget the answer because it's so pertinent to the long term and what's happened. He said the biggest challenge is creating a winning mood, right. convincing people not only in our program but around our program to expect to win. Well, that's happened. He started it. Coach Gundy has taken it and just ran with it, and it's been lots of fun. Well, and a program that had traditionally not won 50% of our games all the time, and our fan, yeah. our fan base even had the mindset, even if we were ahead late in the game, how are we going to blow this? I think we've gotten past that point, but it's the first time that we're really going to be the hunted. How do you expect this team and these coaches to uh, handle that situation? They've been through it enough before that they sort of get it. I think it was certainly the case in 2011. Now, there were some other teams in the Big 12 but were very, very good that year as well. So it wasn't quite the same. But the thing is, with that team, you know, it was reasonable going into that season to think that team could win a national championship. And it was reasonable at the end of the season that that team could win a national championship. So they've been through that before. In 09, I think Coach Gundy would be the first to admit he didn't handle the expectations uh, and all the national stuff in the preseason the way that maybe he should have. So when it happened in 2011, he said he learned a lot of lessons and applied those lessons uh, to how he handled that preseason. So I think there's enough experience with it that that part of it, I think they'll be fine. So a lot of changes on Coach Gundy's staff. Yeah. You were around those guys a lot. You've been around Mike Yersich. I yeah. think he's a guy that everybody's curious to get to know and see how he calls a game. What is your take on our new offensive coordinator? Well, I like the fact that you know it's enjoyable to watch him go as fast as he does. We've played fast before. We've not played like this. I mean, the pace at which he wants to uh, handle things offensively is probably unlike anything I've seen, certainly from Oklahoma State and probably from anyone else. I think if they're able to go at the pace that he desires, It'll be the fastest show in college football. It'll be lots of fun. It's funny, in spending a little bit of time with him and, and talking to him, he has some Munkin in him, and he has some Dana in him. It's kind of funny. He's a hybrid. He has some of the you know, sense of humor that Dana has, not quite that extreme. He has some of the different type of sense of humor, but still funny that Todd Munkin has. And then his ideas, I think, are a, a sort of a blend of the two. So it's really interesting. Uh, he doesn't show his cards very often in terms of that personality, but uh, we did get him to loosen up some in, in a couple of the conversations. And, you know, I, I think as he gets comfortable and gets established, I think fans will really enjoy him because I think that some of that personality will come out. Well, it's amazing to think uh, that uh, he can maybe call plays even faster than Monken and Holgerson. I mean, that's just unbelievable, and I think that's got to excite our fan base because when we go fast, nobody can stop us. You know, and it's funny. I asked him that. I said, so with that in mind, what is the process of calling the next play? As a play is unfolding, he says he gets a feel for what the game's going to be. He can tell quickly. You know, halfway through the previous play, in a lot of cases, he's got the next play call. He's already got it, and they're ready to go. That's how fast they're moving. And I guess when you stop and think about it in football, it doesn't take that long in the progression of a play to have a pretty good idea of what the outcome's going to be and what your down and distance will be and your field position for the ensuing snap. So it's a, it'll be a treat to watch, but he functions at a fast, fast level. You can hear uh, starting to pick up here in the auxiliary gym of the athletic center, but uh, I know, you, did you go to the officials training? You I had? did, I So did. talk about that eighth official and how that's really maybe going to be something that will help a team like Oklahoma State. It's the greatest, I think it's wonderful for Oklahoma State and for all the teams that play fast because that official's basic sole responsibility, and he'll help with some other things. But his primary responsibility is to spot the ball and get the ball ready for play. So you won't have officials jostling around, you know, trying to get the ball to the umpire so he can put the ball in play. That'll be his job. You know, one of the interesting things will be, <laughs> he will be stationed. You know, the referee is behind the line of scrimmage in the backfield. 
he will be adjacent to the referee on the opposite side of the backfield. Now, the trick will be if some teams really want to play fast, they put a guy in motion if there's not a collision. It's right. one of the things they talked about. Gotta look out for another official. you got to get the heck out of there yeah. as soon as you get that thing spotted. And on top of that, they're going to have to remind the coaches and quarterbacks, look, you got to give him time to get out. If you don't give him time to get out, we're going to have a collision near the line of scrimmage, and we don't want that. But I think it's innovative. I think in I think most leagues will will be in favor of this because it, it will allow the game to move at such a pace uh, that the officials don't slow it down. Now, isn't it ironic what we read, you know, in the in the newspaper about what's happening with Chip Kelly in Philadelphia? The NFL officials saying that you know there is a pace of the game that the officials will dictate, and basically says. You can't go as fast as you want unless it's a two-minute situation. Thank heavens we don't have that mentality in college football, although there are certain coaches in certain conferences that would like to see it that way. Hopefully we are wise enough to know that's not a good idea. You were, uh, I'm guessing, at Mike Gundy's media golf outing. Uh, you know, I was not, but I okay. heard reports. You heard reports. I guess it went pretty well. And the reason I bring that up is we're going to go to a little video uh, shot from that day of Coach Gundy and uh, get a little report there. But, Dave, I know you're excited about another Cowboy football season. I am. I'm excited about the league, Larry. Only 28 points in a preseason poll separating the first-place pick from the fourth-place pick. Uh, it is a wide-open race in It'll make for some entertaining games. Now, it'd be a little nerve-wracking. I think there'll be a lot of close games for Oklahoma State and all those other contenders, but it'll be fun. I can't believe you gave up a day of golf and you weren't out at the golf outing, but hey, at least we've survived maybe the worst week in Cardinal baseball history over the last 20-plus years anyway. So uh, hopefully the Cardinals get it going. Dave and I are both big St. Louis Cardinal yes, fans, but uh, I know we both can't wait till this football season kicks off and we're 28 days away. So, Dave, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. All right, that's the voice of the Cowboys, Dave Hunzak. You'll be listening to a lot of his calls this season. Should be a lot of excitement. We're going to go to that tape of uh, Coach Gundy in an interview from the Media Day last week, and we'll be back uh, to Media Day live here from the OSU Athletic Center and the Auxiliary Gym in just a few minutes.